governor of Benue State, Samuel Otson, who is also the leader of the G5 group, has once again publicly declared his support for Peter Obi ahead of the forthcoming presidential election. According to the governor, anyone who means well for this country knows that Peter Obi is the best man for the job at this moment. He also added that if he wasn't in the PDP today, he wouldn't have been at he would have been at the forefront leading Peter Obi's campaign across the country. He said if there is someone who is working ahead and wants the best for our country, Peter Obi would be recommended. Honestly, if I were not in PDP, I would have been the one at the forefront carrying Peter Obi's bag and campaigning for him. He is what this country needs to get things right. He is somebody with clean records. So, if I were to offer advice on the best material for president, I would tell you that it is Peter Obi, but it is just as I am in a PDP. I'm handicapped. Honestly, that is my candidate. Huh. You don't even need any... You don't need any say or who like put it. You don't even need to even be in Peter Obi's uh, camp. You don't even need to be carrying his bag. <laughs> you have said it all. Your word has gone far. Mm -mm. We have a lot of people who are still following some of these politicians here and there, but they, in their hearts of hearts, they are not with them, maybe because of what they want to get. But if you are coming out to declare publicly, oh yes, this is the man you are recommending, you've done your job, you've done the good job, you have done the, you have done your best. Needless following him around, your word is going around, your word is going with him. If it is that, if it, if that is what you believe, honestly speaking, he has been saying it over and over again. I think uh, he's using wisdom there because of course he's not going to say, oh, I'm going after him, I'm going with him, this and that, uh, so that uh, it will not sound as a uh, anti-party. Of course, he might say it's his anti-party thing, but he said, he's still telling you that uh, because it's in PDP, he still respects uh, his party. But uh, like they always say, a word is enough for the wise. You are right, Mr. Governor. Obi is what Nigerians need and nothing else. Thanks to Governor Samuel Otson for always standing tall on truth. But Tom, I thank God your deceitful plans with Wiki fade woefully. So shall your second agenda fade. God will deliver Nigeria from your deceitful tendencies. How? With Wiki. <laughs> Where is Wiki now? Where does Wiki stand? Governor Otson, exactly what you are doing today is on bleaker on by on Billy on bleaker or what even the almighty says that it is required in sea word that a servant be found faithful and this is the reason why you will be disappointed so much because you can't be eating food from your father's kitchen and be backstabbing him i pity your miserable political life as from today your first name becomes regrettable and so name becomes regret your words cannot never hold waters because you are a christian and scriptures can never be the man you are talking rubbish against is coming to red chambers so your rubbish words are wet without clouds who is this person you must not say a thing like that to autumn autumn is in the right place please truth god speed to victory god to god glory to God and his abundant blessing to Nigeria. That is if Nigerians will listen. Everybody will do it our own bit. And the man the, the Nigeria that we are experiencing today for as many who have contributed to it in one way or the other. And they did, did not quickly reverse, you know, retrace their steps back and they are still telling people that you must still continue in what we are experiencing. God will judge them. No, you will get a reward no matter what. Unless you repent. If not, you will most surely get your re reward. In this situation that there is nobody that is not complaining. Apart from those who are eating from the cookie jar. Those who are eating crumbs from the politicians. And those who are getting contracts here and there. They are the only set of people that will tell you Nigeria is good. Governor Autumn, you will live long. No evil attack can get you from behind. This is the kind of person you call human being. Autumn is a great leader. He has been doing everything possible to protect his people you are the best governor in pdp you don't even play policies with truth 
on G5 governors, you have more qualities of leadership than the rest. My governor, what you said is a rugged reality. We have changed our stance. For good, this governor ought some will live long. And I've said it times without number. Nigerians, stop listening to anybody. Don't say because a governor or Tom said this or anybody said otherwise. What do you think? Must you listen to? Well, because some people are so gullible, but that's what we are telling them. The reason is that must you listen to these politicians or anybody? Oh, the other day, people are jubilating that Obasanjo and does the PSB. What do you think? How are you feeling? Is Obasanjo suffering with you? Is Governor Autumn suffering with you that it will, they will be the people that will tell you who to vote and who not to vote? Must they come and tell you that before you go get sense? Because you need to say it the way it is. Before you go get sense, now they go tell you. Now, belly they pay you. You don't get money. Hunger, they wire you. Are they giving you anything? Are you not supposed to stand on your feet and say, this is what I want? As an adult, I have watched the politics of this country for some time. Whether for a very long time, whether for, for a few years, I should be able to determine what will be good for me. Take that decision and whatever that comes out of it, you will stand by that. You don't need to listen to them. It goes beyond them because I've said even if the G5, if they endorse Peter Obi, are they the ones to tell you what you what the, the kind of life you have to live? How have they come to your rescue with all this suffering? See, people are buying, you know, in the during December time, we were buying a uh, fuel. Someone saying, Ah, we are still buying. If you see where there's no queue, you know, you know that uh, they are selling 180, 200, 230. But some people say, Yeah, we are still buying to 160, 170. But now, this uh, January, not even the beginning of January, about five days ago. It's been not even five days ago, at least two, three weeks ago, or let's say two weeks ago. People have been buying 300, and now it's like everywhere now. The 300 naira per liter is everywhere. Money people cannot get. So tell me, is it Governor Tom or Basanjo who endorsed Peter B? Is it the one suffering with you? Is he giving you anything? Huh? Well, thank you, Governor Otom, for standing on the side of the truth. God bless you. These are reactions of people like me. I said, don't believe in them believe in what you have experienced what is your own experience that will make you determine who is going to be the next uh, president of this country because if anything happens now stop coming and, and telling hey you yeah, are the one who said are you are you, some people just some people are so foolish and uh, you are the ones who made us to vote for this particular person you are the you know get ahead you know get ahead god has given you everything to make life okay for you, for you to be able to reason so that you don't be disturbing every disturbing him every time. But you will not do take the decision. You'll be waiting for one pastor to tell you say see vision. You know see vision. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.